Welcome back to another 90 Seconds Plus with Imakago City Mayor Nobby Clark. Today we've got a few topics and we'll kick off with uh, the panel that was on yesterday, Tuesday. A um, couple of, th uh, three heavy hitters we had, uh, Mayor Nobby Clark, we had uh, Scott O'Donnell from HWR Group and Chief Executive um, from OLT, Chris Ramsey. Um, interesting chat, you guys? Yeah, it was good. It was just a bit of a futures, futuristic look at, at uh, how the city can uh, improve if we go forward in the next three, four, five years. So it's quite very light-hearted, just a celebration that the uh, Chamber of Commerce has moved into a new new venue, and uh, a bit of a joke at, on some of the occasions as well, a little bit of a stitch-up for Scott, who got me to uh, <laughs> enter into a tractor racing uh, event recently, only to find out I was up against uh, Paul Radisic and uh, uh, Greg Murphy. Yeah, Greg Murphy as well, yeah, with all their flash gear, and I'd never driven a tractor before, so yeah, I, I got fifth. Oh, that's so, not bad. What, five, fifth out of what, fifth, was it? Uh, yeah, fifth out of five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, that was classic. Um, yeah, but if you look at just what's happening with our city, uh, what's what's already happened and what, where the future is, uh, heading to look into the next, what, five years anyway, some big stuff coming uh, project-wise and um, job-wise, I guess, employment-wise. Yep. So it's huge. We've got lots yep. of en energy-related uh, projects coming our way, data banks, uh, green hydrogen, uh, quite a bit in the aquaculture space yep. as well. So, uh, you know, white bait, power, seaweed, um, salmon farms, the list just goes on. Yeah. But one of the key things we need is we need renewable energy. Yeah. That's the two big things that we face in the next 10 years in, in Vicarable or in the wider south is a need for uh, renewable energy. So we can secure that because big industries will not come if they can't get some security around it. Uh, so it's not just a matter of volume, but it's being safe for the time they want to operate. Uh, and the other issue is the issue of housing. Yeah. Um, which is, is huge again. We don't have enough houses and don't have enough quality houses as well. And, and, and I think uh, Scott made a good point. You know, there's um, <clears throat> or there's lots of jobs potentially coming in the next few years, but there's heaps of jobs now, um, but we just can't get the people. So it's about. Um, I, I loved his idea of, uh, <laughs> of uh, getting everybody to send a couple of couple of games of the. What is it? The chamber got their um, Southland version of Monopoly. Great way of portraying our city and region. The, the biggest thing that we don't sell is disposable income. Yes. So I can be on a hundred thousand in Auckland. I'll spend three quarters of that income paying a mortgage in Auckland, yep. and a big chunk of the rest going backwards and forwards to work yes. on fuel costs. Yep. Down here, houses are about a third of the price or half the price. So you have, and you don't have the fuel costs either. You don't have to go very far to go to work. So one of the benefits is you've got more disposable income, so you can afford to take the kids to. Dream World or Disneyland or go over the overseas holidays things. People in Auckland can't afford that that's because right. they just spend all their money in a house and getting to and from work. Yeah. So that's something we need to sell because the quality of life here, and I've lived in both cities, is way better. Oh, totally. Yeah. And yeah. um, that's the great thing about South and Wind and Vicargo is, um, yeah. and plus it's a great place to bring up kids. Yeah. And it's flat, <laughs> so you can bike or walk or whatever as, as well as drive, obviously. Yeah. And of course, um, this, this Sunday we've got the final. Uh, one of the final games uh, with the steel, I guess. Um, they haven't had a great season, so. Uh, but um, yeah, I guess um, let's let's all get uh, everyone to the stadium this Sunday and um, and scream and cheer the, the team on. Um, you know they had a, uh, some good seasons, but this one hasn't been their, their season. So uh, let's um, get along there and, and pack the place. Yeah, look, can't can't reinforce that enough. Yeah. You know, I've I've followed the steel and before them the sting for decades. Yeah. Um, and when they're doing well, we get sell out crowds. Yes. But in recent times, the crowds haven't been strong. Yes. And the players know that. Mm -hmm. They know their performance does drive those things. But look, they've had a season that's probably the worst on record for them. But there'll be another season to come. Yeah. And if you want people to be motivated to come back and play for the franchise, you get down there on Sunday, you spend your whatever number of dollars it is to get in, scream like hell, yeah. um, let them know that you're there. And they've got a game on Sunday that's probably possibly winnable yeah. um, so we need to be down and support them you don't just support your franchise when the uh, when the going's good you support them when the going's Sounds not good. so good as well yeah yep. so need, yeah need to be there totally yeah. be there on sunday yeah yeah so make sure you get down to the south and oilt south and stadium on sunday and support the southern steel let's um, pack the place and and scream our hearts out to give the girls at least one win for the season which um helps i uh, guess set them for the next season Anyway, that's another episode of 90 Seconds Plus with the Macaulay City Mayor, Noe Clark. Till next week, see you later.